All right, I'm going to tell you guys why it is not a good idea to spray a honey colony, honeybee colony, that is inside your walls or inside some sort of structure or building. Um, it's not a good idea to spray them with poison and try to kill them in place um, for a couple of reasons. One, if you do manage to kill the colony, which in the first blow isn't likely, um, you'll probably knock their numbers down quite a bit, but you may not kill them. If you do continue to spray them and do manage to kill the colony, the honeycomb itself, the beeswax, over time, especially on warm days and cool nights with temperature fluctuations, without the honeybees there to maintain the humidity and the temperature inside the hive, that wax and that comb is going to crack and leak. When it leaks, on a lot of places it's going to be drywall. Um, it used to be the plaster lathe, but it's going to be drywall now, so that will eventually leak through your drywall and it'll create a big staining pattern on your drywall. No matter how many times you paint over it, you'll never get rid of it. It'll keep coming through. Um, with that as well, with the leaking comb, you're going to draw in pests like ants, mice, cockroaches, uh, various beetles, uh, chipmunks, raccoons, possums, all kinds of things. Um, various m moths and stuff that do damage to wood as well. <clears throat> uh, and then in, in the long run, if you do manage to kill that specific colony after swarm season, with all those pheromones and everything still being there, the other bees can smell that, they can sense that. So if they do find it, you're going to have a whole new colony moving into a completely pre-built house for them, still inside your walls, and you're not solving your problem. Um, you're just prolonging the problem. <laughs> um, with that too, in the end, regardless, you're going to have to do a cutout either of the bees and the comb, or the comb and all of the damaged wood and drywall and all of that stuff itself. Um, when it gets to that point, if the comb has been sprayed, if you do spray the comb and kill the first colony, that comb and any of that honey is permanently unusable for human consumption and for bees. Um, so if you do call a beekeeper and feel like you're still trying to save some resources and things, you're not. Um, because that beekeeper has to throw that away. It is unusable. You can't do anything with it. Uh, so it's a complete loss for them. Um, so you're losing the colony, the wax, and the honey. You've got a lot of more damage to deal with and a bigger repair bill at the end. Um, and that whole colony is a total loss. So you can suck it up and do it right the first time and just do a full cutout with the bees and the comb and the queen and get everything out the first time while it's still clean in terms of not having a big honey mess. Um, if you do wait till you get to that point, it's just going to be a lot harder to clean up and it's going to be a lot more to repair. So uh, that is definitely why I do not recommend spraying honeybee colonies with chemicals. Wasp and hornets, do what you want to do, um, but don't spray honeybees. <laughs> if you have any of the qu questions or anything, uh, definitely let me know. Reach out. Um, Facebook messengers and text message is the best way to get me uh, because I do drive quite a bit and I am busy doing various things. So um, text and various things are, is the best. So if you have any questions, reach out, let me know, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.